Hi everyone, this is Tina H. I am so glad that you stopped by to check out my planner video. This is a planner tag and the tag was inspired. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my computer, but um, the planner tag was originally inspired by Elle Fowler and Belinda Celine. And um, I am part of the Plan With Me design group. And so I have some questions to answer. And let's get right to it. Um, the planner tab tag questions are, how were you introduced to planners and what was your first planner? Well, I only have one planner and that is the Happy Planner. I was introduced to it because I started watching YouTube videos and I saw Beth Graves and I saw Liz Thrifty Fifty and I was hooked on watching them and I just got started that way. I watched and I'll answer another question here on how I got started. How many planners do you have and what are they used for? Well, like I said, I only have one planner, which is the Happy Planner. I do have a budget planner for the household, but, you know, it's not decorated, so I just count the one. Um, I would like to get into Bible journaling, so I think that would be a lot of fun to do. Um, the, my planner is used for, oh goodness, everything. Appointments, meal planning housework, um, to remind myself to drink more water, to exercise. There's just, you know, a lot of things on there. Um, what is your favorite brand of planner? Um, the only planner that I really know anything about is the Happy Planner. Um, I would like to look into the Erin Aaron Condren planners, but you know, I'm just afraid to put out all that much, all that money into one. Um, I know I got the Happy Planner at a good price. You know, with the 50% off coupon with Michael's, you can pick them up for under $20. Um, let me see. How long does it take you to update your planner each day? About five minutes? Five, ten minutes. You know, it all depends. When did you first start decorating your planner? Let me see, I started decorating my planner when my son went off to college last year. And, you know, your your chick leaves the nest and you just don't know what to do with yourself. I still have one child at home yet, but, you know, it was awful quiet and mom needed her own outlet. And that's exactly what my planner helps me deal with stress, helps me, gives me a purpose, um, and a place where I can put my thoughts, where, you know, if the kids need something, it's in the book. If they want to know what the menu is, it's in the book. If you want to know what your appointment is, it's in the book. So it's, and the family's kind of dubbed it the family Bible because we keep it in one spot and everybody knows if, you know, and let me tell you, it's it's less hassle for me. They, they're not bothering me so much because they know, go to the book, look in the book, and, you know, they'll know what's going on. <laughs> um, let me see. What is your favorite pen for your planner? Show your pen if desired. Um... I could turn you around. Hopefully my camera will stay put together. But I like these pens from Tokyo Pen Shop. I'm hoping y'all can see them. But they are friction pens. Love them because they're erasable. And yeah, they work great. Uh, if you could use one embellishment, what would it be? Stickers, washi tape, gems, etc. I don't like to use gems really on my planner 
because they're it makes it bulky. That is one reason why I do like the Happy Planner too. I can take out the months that I don't need anymore. So it makes it less bulkier. Um I guess stickers. You know, if you don't have washi tape, you can use stickers. If you don't have stickers, you could cut out things in a magazine to use as stickers. You know, there's all kinds of ways to decorate your your planner without, you know, going over your budget. Uh-oh. There's my questions. Okay. Um, favorite place to get planner supplies, goodies. Oh, wow. Um, Michael's. Love Michael's. Dollar Tree. I'd rather much get them at Dollar Tree if my Dollar Tree cooperates with me. Um, Hobby Lobby, I don't get to very often. Ollie's, I don't get to very often. But I, I would have to say Dollar Tree and Michael's would be my top to go to. What is your planning routine? Um, I get a lot of my planner decorations off of the free printable sites. And there are so many on Facebook. You just put in free printables for planners and you will get lists of them. And if something pops up that I like, you know, I'll print it off and I'll put it in a binder. That's where I keep all my things in a binder. And sometime when I do my craft room tour, I'll show you how I have it kind of organized. Um, and then I'll, I'll usually pick three different things. And then I'll go throughout the week and I kind of narrow it down and figure out what kind of washi tape I want to use, what kind of stickers, like if I'm going to use a mermaid theme or flowers, you know. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't take me long to plan. And I really enjoy it. It's kind of like a therapy for me. It's a stress reliever. So, I really do enjoy planning. Um, what inspires you each week for your weekly layout? Um, it can be a holiday, birthday, you know, a bird outside. It all depends. Whatever, you know, I, I really want to decorate. And that's the fun thing to do is you can do whatever you want to do. Um... Who is the first YouTuber that inspired you to decorate your planner? Well, I used to, like I said, I watched Beth and Thrifty Fifty Liz. And I used to watch them all. I still watch them. But I was hooked on watching them in the very beginning when I started YouTube. And I mentioned to Liz, you know, how great her planners was and... And I also talked to Beth, I think, a little bit about it. But it was mainly Liz that was like, oh, I'll send you a bunch of links. This is, you know, all the different planners that are out there. She was very helpful in helping me decide on what kind of planner to use. And then she was like, come on, you got to join our group and decorate. I was like, no, I don't think I'm that crafty. You know, I don't, I don't know. Do I need a planner? I'm a housewife. I don't work. What can I put in this thing? And I kind of surprised myself on all the things that I have put in my planner. Because like I said, it's, it's a direct place for my family to go. If they have questions about the week or appointments and whatever have you not. Um, but yeah, Liz was the one. That uh, really helped me out to try and find a planner. And she was a great help in it. And very encouraging. And I wound up joining the group after my son went to college. And, you know, the girls are so nice and so sweet. And I've become pretty close to quite a few of them. And, you know, you, you can't ask for better friends. 
So I'm very glad that I joined the group. Uh, let's see. How many planners do you decorate? One. That's all I have. I Like I said, I have one for my bills, but I don't decorate it. Um, oh, let me see. What planner would you recommend to a first-timer and or planner to decorate? Well, I only have experience with the Happy Planner. But if you don't want to spend that much money on one or you don't know how you're going to like decorating, I highly suggest going to Walmart and finding one there for $5 or so. You know, start at the lower end and see if you really want to do it. Or, you know, really check out your planners and then decide on what you want to do. Oh, let me see. If you had to pick only one planner, which one would you use and why? Um, the Happy Planner. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'd stick with the Happy Planner. Though I'd like to look at a few of them here in a little bit to see if I want to wander off. But I'm pretty sure I'll stick with the Happy Planner. Um, because I like I like the size of the squares. It's enough room for me to write my information. I like how I can take the pages out. And that's one thing with Erin Condren I don't think you can do. If I'm wrong, let me know. But, you know, that's one, one thing I do like is I can tear my page, I can take my pages out and decorate them, put them back in the book, or I can take out months that I'm not using and, you know, make it smaller and so it's not so thick and bulky. So I can take it to places because I do take my planner when I go away or whatever else. Um, bonus question. Show your washi stash. And is it out of control? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to take pictures and attach them to the video so you all can see my washi. Um, I don't think it's way out of control. I mean, my husband could say differently. But, you know, you can never have too much washi. At least I don't think so. But, um, like I said, I will take pictures and show you my washi stash. And, um... I will list everybody that's in the play, in the tag group down below. The girls that decided to join it. And I'm so glad that you decided to take some time out of your busy weekend to listen to me rambling on about all this, this questions tag. Um, I had a great time doing it. And thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.